Ready, aim, chunk. The great pumpkin and his kin take flight at the Clyde York 4-H Center in Crossville. Just how far can he fly? Combining air travel and the tumble forward some 200 feet, depending on whether the spirit of Halloween has been dieting lately. I can't wait to see them bust whenever they hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin chunkin' as it's known, where 4-H'ers take this slingshot of a catapult and hurl seasonal spheres forward. Um, well, I like to build things and I like to see how far I can throw something. So I think those two just go together. A blast of a science lesson for these 4-H'ers. They learn the mechanics, math, and physics of chunking, measuring how far their fruit can fly and what's needed to create flight. We kind of break down what your, your basic average tools are, levers and things like that, and we move on to our force of motion and gravity and how a bigger object's gonna need more force to move forward. This experiment is part of the STEM curriculum here at the York Center. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. That's been a big focus for 4-H in recent years, preparing kids for possible future careers. <laughs> You know, when we talk about even just pumpkin chunk, and we'll take that for example, you know, we're talking about engineering and what does an engineer do, um, you know, and the different kinds of engineers that, that you can be. The York STEM curriculum is called REAL, Redefining Environmental Education for Life. Before heading out to the chunkin' range, the kids build many catapults, pieced together with rubber bands and pencils. They practice first with marshmallows, which preps them for the larger objects they'll fly later. And you stack up, see how your best leverage happens, mm -hmm. see where you get the most resistance. More resistance, more force. If you happen to see the great pumpkin flying overhead this Halloween, know that he may have had some help from a Tennessee 4-H'er, learning that can't be grounded. Orange and airborne. This is Charles Denny reporting.